Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and we are over on Ark Survival Ascended and it's the first few days of release and you know there's some awesome things that have been added but there's also been some things that have kind of secretly been removed without anyone noticing. I'm going to tell you 10 things right now plus a few bonus things that were removed from Ark Survival Ascended and they kind of did this sneakily if you want to think of it that way kind of funny how it works but if you want make sure you smash that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and consider subbing to the channel i'm so close to 100,000, and that's my goal so the first thing i want to talk about is the most obvious now obviously the island was left off the map however cryopods have also been left off so you can no longer create make store use anything because that was introduced inside of extinction um, but cryopods were not added back into the server or the map or anything and this is due to the fact that i mean technically speaking it didn't show up till extinction but you want to talk about a quality of life thing that doesn't exist anymore being able to move your dinos across the map, you have to walk them. And do, I don't know if you guys remember how big the island felt when you first played it, but it was massive and you had to walk from side to side or use flyers. And don't, don't forget, they also removed the flyer buff a long time ago. So it takes a long time to get from one side of the island to the other. You wanna raid somebody? you're gonna be looking at least two or three hours of travel time to get across the map. So that's kind of crazy. Now, the next thing that they added in, or I guess removed and didn't add in, um, was the actual concept of move speed. Used to be move speed was the main meta. You would get a ton of move speed, you'd move super fast and get a really small character. And that's no longer really a thing because move speed is nerfed, it's gone. No such thing as character move speed anymore. Now. Because of that, there's going to be a lot of big changes, right? You can no longer outrun literally every creature in the game. You're just going to have to rely on sprint and actually fighting things. I think this was their intent, obviously, because move speed just turned into like the meta. You had to crank move speed to as high as you could comfortably get it. And then you would just outrun everything. A raptor would not be able to chase you down. Some of the faster, even Gallimimus or Giganotosaurus, right? You could just, with a high enough move speed, you just outrun them, turn around, shoot, outrun, turn around, shoot. And they wanted to remove that concept because they wanted you to fear a little bit. Like you can outrun some of the smaller creatures like a copy. I'm not gonna have any problems right there, right? However, if I get chased by a uh, raptor now, ain't out, there's no way to outrun it. So means that you're gonna have a little bit more um, reliability when it comes to tames instead of your own personal self. So that's number two. Number three, they removed anything from the other maps Engram wise that you can't get from the island. So here's all your island base stuff, right? As soon as I click on Scorched Earth, you can't even access or look at all of them, right? And that's that's kind of a problem because for a lot of people, including me, a lot of these engrams are some of my favorites, like the whip from Scorched Earth, one of my favorite engrams in the entire game. Gone, no longer a thing. Uh, gotchas, pretty much everyone's end game right away concept. Gone right away. Anything from any other map, you don't even have the option to get it. So until mods come out, and I'll bring that up in a second, you don't have any access to any form of uh, map engram. So that's number three. Number four. This is an easier one and a little bit frustrating because a lot of people use this. I'm gonna just fly up so you can see what I mean. No longer there are tech dinos. Tech dinos do not spawn on the island, at least this island. Um, and they, they have removed all tech dinos. So parasaurs, stegos, um, any, any forms of other dinosaurs that can have a tech version no longer exist. You literally cannot find them, which means that you can't use their eggs to get crazy oil early and you can't use them themselves to get some of the element dust and other stuff like that that can be very, very useful. So they removed all tech dinos. Again, not the greatest thing in the world. All right, so next thing, number five on our list, they removed all mods. Now, they have the basic level mods that do exist in the game, which is something that's just fine, right? I'm gonna exit to the main menu to show you what I mean by this. So when you click on start mods list, these are your like initial opened mods that you can get with the game, but every other of the thousands upon thousands of mods that were in Ark are no longer in this. And from what I understand, the Ark mod creators don't even wanna port them over because it's an entire overhaul essentially what they've already done so they'd essentially be starting from ground like ground zero right because they have to start from scratch now you ask me that's too much i wouldn't do that either so like they've had some help getting these in but these might be the only mods for quite a while so again not a great thing not a great look to have no mods now 
Next thing, this is on official networks, and uh, from, what I, from what I understand, there are no transfers at all across the board. Whether you're on an official network or an unofficial server, you can't even create a cluster if you wanted to. So wherever you go, you are stuck there. You can't transfer around, hop around, and that, that ruins a lot of people's times because sometimes you just end up on a server where you've got some people that end up taking over and don't let you do anything, and you can't leave, which sucks really freaking bad. So that's not great. Now, next thing, you know, we talked about this a little bit a second ago, but the techgrams. Techgrams are no longer a thing. They, uh, I mean, there are some techgrams, don't get me wrong, but a lot of them have been removed. Some of those really valuable ones that people like to use um, with the other maps and things that were introduced over time. A lot of your really valuable uh, tech grams are kind of off the table. They did add in this smaller size tech teleporter to compensate for the things they removed, but you know, not the greatest. Some of the valuable things that really are liked by the art community are tech grams and you can't get them. Well, some of them at least, so that kind of sucks. Now, next thing, another removal, and this is not one that I'm very happy to say because it was one of my favorite things to use, both for PVP purposes when defending a base and for taming literally anything. The net. Now, you used to be able to use the net in order to basically knock something down using a harpoon launcher, but you can't do that anymore because the net has been removed, so you can't. You have to go back to the old school bola, meaning there's no way to trap down the medium-sized dinosaurs that you want to trap and tame much more effectively. Uh, the net gun not being able to do that kind of hurts. Like, realistically speaking, it kind of sucks, and that's not, not fun. I don't like that that's the case, but it is what it is, you know. Um, I... I'm a little sad about it because it's, again, going to change that meta, but oh well. Now, going into number nine, this is an entire, I mean, I think it's kind of positive, right? So your cosmetics here, right? This is where you can place things on your stuff. It doesn't cost you anything. These are removable. The only negative I have about this, you can see that they're going to have a lot of cosmetics that exist. And uh, yeah, they're going to start selling these from what I understand. So that kind of sucks, but they removed the spam that you get right off the bat. So that's kind of nice, I guess. But the uh, the cosmetics are a thing that's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see how that goes. Now, the next thing, jump spam. You used to be able to jump spam. Wow, I should not have done that because I was in admin mode. So you used to be able to kind of spam jump and increase your speed. They basically have completely removed that because of the lack of move speed and the uh, jumping being kind of like you see a little slower. Um, you can no longer jump spam, so like you can just launch yourself hundreds of miles um, using that move speed jump spam glitch. Um, so that's no longer a thing because they have removed it. You also always jump off the same foot. That kind of bothers me. I don't know why. If you watch, like it's always jumping off the left foot, or if you can get it at the right time, it'll like double double jump, right? Um, and that's kind of just how it is. But not a big fan of that. Now, the next thing, when you have low health, you do the low health trot. Not my favorite thing in the world because there's not really a way to get around it. Um, they kind of added slash removed this. It's, it's a weird thing. Once you're low on that health bar, you're stuck doing the slow crawl is like the encumbered crawl. And you're like, no, I'm toast. And that's kind of how it works. Um, they kind of increased, I think it's like 20% health or less, which is very difficult because especially in a game where you've removed move speed and a lot of these other things, you're going to be spending a lot of time at low health and that sucks. Now, the last thing they removed, and this is actually a good thing, right? As I saved the last one being a good thing. This is like a 12th bonus thing, if you want to think of it that way. This is the, you used to have it offset, right? Your third person offset. You no longer need to worry about that because... Whenever you throw something, it's down the middle and it actually goes where you aim. So if I hold the spear and throw it right there, right, it should end up right where I want it to. And you're not going to miss things at close range. And you're able to actually use your bow and arrow and hit things and move around and go side to side. And it automatically goes where you want it to. Right. So that's a really big big addition because that's something that really frustrated a lot of people in the last arc that third party or that not third party third person offset it basically caused you to miss like if i was aiming here i would end up where that second spear is instead of where i actually wanted to go so they removed that totally which is an awesome thing that's a fantastic um removal in my opinion a lot of these are negative removals but this is a positive removal um, and there are a few other positive removals. I just haven't discovered all of them yet, so I didn't want to post anything about that until I knew more about it. But it's pretty cool, in my opinion. You can throw these spears, and you can kind of just do what I'm doing and throw it, pick it back up as you go. So anyways, this is a kind of reaction video. Hopefully, this is something that helps you out, seeing some of the things that have been removed, whether good or bad. And again, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below. And if you want, consider subbing. I'm almost at 100,000, and that's what I'm going for. All right, teach.
out.